Okay, so the Cobra is completely dead, and I'm trying to figure out how to jump it as fast as possible. It's getting cold and it's getting late. And so I saw this on TikTok where you take a battery, from like a DeWalt or a Rigid or something like this. So I've got one of these, one of these DeWalt Ridges uh, batteries. I've seen people take cables and connect it to the battery and it cranks right over. Let's see if that theory is correct. And it shouldn't matter what kind of battery, hopefully. I mean, we got three on, can't really tell because this thing is dead, dead. Not even my spare battery will crank it over right now. Get all this out of here. I do have a battery. Look, okay, we got one of these in here already. I think I was trying, okay, this one's fully charged. So this one's not. Just set that right there. Okay, so got cable here. Negative. Let me see if I'm gonna rig up something right quick. I got, oh shoot, that thing came out. I need to tighten that up so I can't get a, any kind of bracket in there because of the way those things are designed. They're not, I can't get any kind of, well, maybe if I had put it on. So I know the video work isn't that great, especially when I'm trying to do all this by one hand. Hold on here. Okay, finally got everything set up. Don't judge the quality of the work because trust me, I'm not proud of it either. But just to test that we have decent power, we'll do a little spark test. That's how you test anything has got power, right? You just touch one end to to the uh, other, right? Woo, okay, we're good. All right, that's got power. So, just to prove that this car is, set this on top of the world's fastest Kia. Oh, it came out, I can fix it, I can fix it. Okay. It says I have, well you can hear the fuel pump trying to kick on. I have 3.47 volts. Don't know if that's gonna work or not, but obviously when I push in the clutch, nothing. The fuel pump's not even, it's trying, but ain't getting much. Okay, give me, I'm gonna fix this. Hopefully I can fix it. Okay, everything's back in. That's connected, that's connected-ish. Okay, if this works, I want Rigid to sponsor me for making their shit amazing. Okay, give me just a second here. So this one's positive, oh, that one's negative. Okay, oh, it's all kinds of bad is happening. I mean, it's so tight. No! Son of a bitch. We'll just connect this to the fun battery first, then push you guys up right there. Okay. Can I squeeze this in there? I don't think there's a way I can get this thing in there. It'll give it a good. Oh, this is kind of loose. Kind of wrap that around. That right there. Okay, there's that side. Then we have this side we need to worry about. Is this loose? Uh, of course not, that's not loose. I don't know why that one's disconnected. It's a 30 amp. Oh, that's for the fan. That's right, I disconnected that. Stop drawing power. Okay. Can I put this on here somewhere? No, no. This isn't a true vlog. I don't know what it is anymore. All right, so this is obviously negative. No, that doesn't go on that one. Goes on this one. Okay, and here's positive. Oop. All right, I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing on this video because obviously you'd be watching me just trying to put this damn thing together. All right, this is not gonna work. That is not gonna work. That seems a little bit more lively. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was pushing 13 volts for a second there. <laughs> all right, conclusion. I think it would work. Maybe if I put them all into like a series where they're all powering the thing and no smacking it. Cause it was pushing about 13, 14 uh, volts. But this battery is pretty dead. I need to figure out what I can do here. I'm running out of options. I really didn't want to jump it with the Kia. It's just too many damn electronics on that car, but it's also not mine, so I guess we're jumping it. Oh, I still haven't used my wife's car to jump it. Not really proud of this situation. No longer. Uh, but you're wondering, why? Why did you even pull the car out in the begin with? I'm starting to wonder that myself. But I pulled it out because, well, I blew a pipe. <clears throat> blew it 
right underneath the water heater there. Water filled up the entire garage, filled up my entire closet. It's the reason why I have yet to post anything. That has been an absolute nightmare to deal with, I'm trying to get someone out here. It happened on a Sunday too, and I refused to, re to pay their rates on Sunday. I uh, got a few of them, they were basically double just than the standard service. Um, these guys had to pull out the water heater, replace a few lines back there because they were gonna go. It's It's been one of those, it's been a very expensive. I mean, who knew that I should have just did it myself, honestly, but I gotta work too and uh, just stressful. 2022, I appreciate you. All right, let's see if we can't get this pig moving though. Okay, that was promising. Let's let this thing sit a little longer for when I crank it over and go. Ah, oh, COVID's coming out of my nose. Uh, when I crank it over, I can just hop it right into the garage because this has no alternator connected to it. The alternator's connected to the supercharger and the supercharger isn't connected. So we're doing pretty good today. No, this is exciting. This video is super exciting. I'm so excited I'm doing it. I figured I might as well record something today and get something done, even if it's going nowhere. <sighs> you ever sit in your car after breaking down and wonder, why do I keep this thing? Why do I keep it? I haven't driven this car in so long that I think that to myself a lot. I mean a lot. I love this car. There's something about this car that just defines simplicity. Yeah. Yeah, eh, I think that's the wrong word to say. This car legitimately is, like you hear a lot of people say, it's the Toyota Supra of American muscle. It really is. It can handle all the power in the world. You want you to tune it properly. Um, it's, it, it's, it's simple. It really, truly is simple. The interior is maybe not the most amazing thing to look at. It creaks, it crumbles, it creaks and rattles every time you go over a little bump, but it's simple. Matter of fact, I'll take this interior over some of these newer ones. And... I don't know about you guys, but everyone has their favorites. This is one of my favorites. I'm so glad I, I found a car like this because I, I probably would have never known about it if I didn't grab that first one, my 97 Cobra. And then someone, when I first bought it, said I bought the wrong one. You bought the wrong car. You bought the wrong car. And I, 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 I was like, what the hell you mean I bought the wrong one? And they said, look at the 0304 Cobras. So that's what I did and started doing some research. 0304 Cobra and then boom. I fell in love, found this one in Albuquerque. Drove all the way down to Albuquerque just to get this thing. Drove it all the way back and probably f by far the funnest experience I've ever had. 285.90, getting amazing gas mileage, amazing. When I say amazing, I mean, we're hitting the upper 30s at that point. I don't understand how, and I know my math wasn't wrong, but when I went to the pump the next time, I, I was averaging, if I remember right, oh, that was forever ago, 30, 37, something like that. I just, I can't give up on this car. I cannot give in to the fact of simple breakdowns or, or, or hasn't gotten done. And obviously this channel is about trying to build this car and other cars that we get. And then maybe a few other things that we do. But the biggest thing is, is, you know, things take your time. I am not, I'm not going to dodge the bullet here I, or I'm not going to beat around the bush. Right now, I can't afford to put this engine back together right now. I did. I had the money. Everything was good to go. I got into a horrific car accident December 7th. At, I'm actually surprised I survived. I truly am. I really am surprised I survived that one. I really have no idea how I did. I mean, it's that moment when he pulled out in front of me and hit me. That moment between, oh shit, to bam, was at least maybe a second or two maybe maybe and when you're doing 55 miles an hour and come to a sudden stop man there was so much stuff that went through my head so much stuff i gain i mainly think this is me saying don't don't waste a moment i work a lot when i say i work a lot i mean i work six seven days a week and there's many people out there who work way more than me and more kudos to you but if you got a family man you got a kid I mean, my son is three months old, almost four. He's coming up on four months. And moments like that where a car accident could easily have taken my life, I have, it, it, it kind of puts a reality into the fact that this life is very easily disposable. It can go away within seconds, maybe less than seconds. Take advantage of every second you get with your family, with your kids, with who, whoever or whatever you feel is important. I want to get this car done. 
I am not ever gonna sell this car, even with this when this channel grows, just keeps going, blows up. <laughs> Because it will. Because I'm going to bust my ass to make sure you guys got the greatest content I could possibly ever give you. And trust me, guys, I've got all kinds of stuff. I'm, 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 I'm always creating every day, but it just, <laughs> I have to figure out how to take my low budget ass self and get me up there. And it takes time. And I'm a very impatient person. But what this car has taught me, patience. You know, and I will get this engine built. This isn't the end of this. Uh, this car. It's not the fact it's going to sit in my garage and be the, the garage queen for the rest of his life. Hell no. I didn't put this kind of money into this car just to let it sit in the garage. I want to drive it. I want to feel, you know, 20 pounds of boost. I want to feel and hear the, the whine of that supercharger. And then when we put turbos on this thing with the supercharger, I want to hear them both clashing in together and all that power smacking me in my ass and we take off. I'm really looking forward to that. God, I'm looking forward to that. I haven't driven a fast car in so long that I, I, I get these these jives where I just I just want to go fast, and I, I Kia Sorento just isn't it. But it takes patience and persistence. Don't ever give up on what you want. The most important thing is is don't forget who helped you get where you are. Whether it's just you who got you there, your family who supported you, or even dealt with your late nights and doing whatever you're doing, or if you're a late night worker and you're trying to make ends meet, you know, everyone needs to recognize everyone, you know, and don't beat yourself up on every little thing that you can't accomplish because you can. If you just keep going at it, you're not dead, so that means you can still go at it. You know, if your passion is real, then it will still follow you, it will still lead you. You know, this whole world is switching over to electric cars, and I promise you right now, it's not the direction to go. It really isn't. Things would have to dramatically change before that is the direction it'll go. And I'm sorry to say this, but I am, I think electric cars are great inner city driving. You know, if you're doing this inner city stuff, you know, going from home to work, work at home, that type of shit, that's great. Save the fuel, that's great, you know. But when it comes down to us enthusiasts and us people who enjoy, you know, the purr of a car, the feedback it gives you, I don't want to drive an electric car that has no soul. And that's really what it's all about. An electric car has no soul to me. Yeah, it's fast as hell. And I totally get it. I I, I respect that, how fast it is. I mean, it, I mean just self it, it blows my mind. I've never I've been in one when the Tesla first came out I was in one of them and I was blown away how fast it was but when I drove it it was so quiet it, it felt like it felt like nothing that's it it had nothing to it there was nothing at all that I would I, I craved about it the speed was great yeah but I'd rather have a slow car that makes a lot of fun a lot of fun noises the pops the bangs their feedback even if it had you know, I, I tell you what, the best driving car I've had was I had an old Volkswagen Beetle. Um, and that thing gave me the, it was so much fun and it was so stupid and it was, it would do some random shit. I remember turning the stereo on one day and the horn kicked on and it wouldn't shut off. And shit like that I, I enjoy because it, it, it had so much character to it. And in a Volkswagen Beetle, I mean, it, it's just a Beetle, but you know what? It, it was simple and it was truly enjoyable. These these cars coming out with all these electronics and hot and, and, and trying to basically keep you on the road and teach you how to drive. That's not that's not driving. That is not driving. That is that that's not an experience. I mean, it's like a plane, for instance. If a plane these days, basically all you have to do is get it off the ground. You push a button and autopilot takes over. It's a great feature. It's a great feature. But if you overuse it and you don't learn how to fly then the time when it comes when you really need to learn how and learn how to or, 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 or i'm sorry when you when it comes down to the brass tacks of i need to i've got something coming up i need to fly this thing or I, I, there's a disaster i need to fly it and you're so used to letting an auto cruise you know or autopilot take over and do everything that when it comes down to the nitty would you even be ready for it these people with these cars you know they stop for them they just about change lanes for them and and all these other things i mean uh, why why did we come down to this point where we allowed these things to take over you know we used to be such a, a um a strong area where we you know you were either paying attention to the road or you weren't it's that simple not to the fact of well i'm not paying attention it's okay the car has got it that's ridiculous i'm not i mean i and some of that shit has saved my ass i will admit that 
you know. Um, but the collision warning is great. It saves you. I think that should be in standard every car. But some of this shit, like how to back up a trailer. If you can't back up a trailer, you shouldn't be backing it. You shouldn't be having it on your truck in the first place. That's ridiculous. You just flip the switch and it pulls it. Dude, that is, I, I'm sorry, but I grew up the harder way. I grew up on the fact of, if you can't get that trailer in there, then you're done. You, you're fired or you or whatever bad, uh, bad consequences there is, but you better figure it out. You better figure it out how to do it. Not just flip a switch and you're in it type of deal. I, I'm, I'm not all about that. My son will learn how to drive a manual, period. Regardless if it's a dead thing, he will learn how to drive a manual. I will not have my son you know, not learn how to drive a manual. He needs to learn. He, and I'm sorry. I think every kid should learn it. I mean, hell right now I could leave this car completely unlocked with a full battery out here in my driveway. And I shouldn't be worried about it because no one, no kids know how to drive a manual. I mean, that's the best anti-theft system out there, but I'm getting off point. The biggest point is, is this channel is going to start off kind of slow right now. Um, I am going to have other builds going on. Uh, the, the car accident kind of threw me back quite a bit. I've had to pull a lot of stuff out of pocket uh, because of the injuries and stuff. I wasn't able to work. It's been really rough. Um, I'm trying to keep everything caught up, but it's just really rough, especially when your ribs hurt. Oh, man, it, it hurts so much on the right side ribs. And then you're, low, you're just about your entire back. I mean, you might as well get headaches. It's rough. Those who've gone through a car accident know exactly what I mean, especially something that rough. Um, it's, it's not fun. Uh, but, yeah. This channel is going to start kind of slow. I promise you it will build up to be in something amazing. I will take you guys on all my adventures and then some. I'm excited. I'm excited for this year. I've got a lot of great things I've got in mind and I want to pursue them. I want to present them to you because honestly, I love entertaining you guys. I really do. I love, you know, I got my photography and then I'm doing this. I'm, I'm capped out. I'm enjoying this. I really am. This is just too much fun. I can let my creativity go wild, whether regardless if it makes sense or not, it's just going to be great. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just about to crank over this car and get it into the garage. I'm excited. Guys, we'll see you guys next time on the next one. Love you guys so much. Thank you. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. We'll see you next time.